This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. heard about that's Dilawar not, in Afghanistan, the taxi driver that was tortured to death. That's not true. He wasn't no. tortured to death? He's dead! Do you really want to respond to this? Well, I mean, not, not particularly. I mean, I, I don't even actually know who you are. It's Dave Ridley with MythReport.com. But, uh, I'm trying to shake your hand. Are you oh. going to respond? Okay, oh, good. Sure. Good. Well, you were giving good. me your left hand. Didn't All right. Well, that's the best I can do. Um, look, President Obama uh, has banned torture. The United States does not torture. Uh, that's core to American foreign policy. Are you doing anything from your position of power to limit the casualties of civilians? Uh, we're speaking out against uh, Well, casualties by U.S. forces against civilians. I, 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 US, civil U.S. forces kill civilians. What are you doing to limit that? Well, from the State Department perspective, um, we are uh, working with uh, our allies around the region, whether it be the Middle East or, or other places, where the United States partners uh, in counterterrorism efforts with host countries. Partnering uh, in counterterrorism efforts. How about just not doing it ourselves? Okay. You don't seem as if you actually want to have a, a dialogue with me, um, which is unfortunate because I'm absolutely open to talking to you, but you, you've pounced on me right as I walk no, in the door. Uh, you work for me. Uh, absolutely, which is exactly yep. why I'm happy to chat with you, but... You have done so for longer than most folks. Well, that's... No. I'm Anna Berry. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Let's go inside Thanks for the and get your mic on. Okay. So you know, I okay, I'm to have to record this for you, Taylor. <laughs> you know ahead of time that it's closed off to public media, right? Well, I like to document the process of something being censored. If something's going to be censored, I'll comply usually, but uh, document the process of being censored. So that's what I'm doing right now by recording you. If you want, you have to turn off the media devices. You can still attend the event, but you can't have any live recordings inside. Yeah, if it didn't happen on camera, it didn't happen. That's kind of the way I look at it. <laughs> you can do what you want out here. I have no problem Yeah, I appreciate that. But the room yeah. belongs to them, just so you know, all right? Yeah, I, I'm treating it as though they rented it, which I assume they yep. did. Yeah, they so did. it's their property for now, so yeah. I can't trespass. Okay, be good. Up here, a little different, yeah. You're all set. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate your demeanor. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so I got all pee-pee and vinegar with that guy, the State Department guy. I figure... He's killed, well, his institution has killed a lot of people, so I, I can be pee pee and vinegar. Sometimes it's the people who yell at you who love you. How are you? Thanks a lot. All right, there it is. That's what censorship looks like and sounds like. All right, so the dilemma now is whether I wait two hours for this to be over and for him to come out and for me to ambush and interview him with some more questions. But, you know, he could have reacted a lot worse. He did sort of answer some of my questions. Um, it's two hours. Uh, double ambush interviews kind of tend to border on, you know, uh, what's the right word for it, uh, hounding. 
If he'd refused to answer my questions, I'd probably stick around for another two hours and do it again. But uh, I think on this gray area case, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. By the way, I, this is uh, at the uh, University of uh, uh, University of Northern yeah, University of New Hampshire Manchester branch, I believe. <laughs> Film that. Uh, what were we saying? Upstairs on the third floor. Uh, you're saying there's no filming on the whole third floor, or no filming? Where? No, it's a private. So they or, they they have requested that there's no audio or video. Yeah, where where is the filming band exactly? I undisclosed. Okay. I don't have to answer that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sorry. Yep. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.